हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी गोना सी हाउ टू परफॉर्म नेविगेशन विथ ट्रांजिशन एनिमेशन इन नेविगेशन थ्री लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी सॉ हाउ टू सेटअप नेविगेशन थ्री इन अवर एंड्रॉइड प्रोजेक्ट ऑल्सो वी हैड परफॉर्म्ड नेविगेशन वी सॉ हाउ टू यूज बाइक स्टैक वी सॉ हाउ टू सेंड आर्गूमेंट फ्रॉम वन स्क्रीन टू अनदर स्क्रीन वेदर इट इज प्रिंटेड डेटा टाइप और नॉन प्रिंटेड डेटा टाइप इन अवर नेविगेशन डिस्प्ले वी हैव फ्यू पैरामीटर्स the first one is transition specification so when we add something in our back stack it is considered as navigation from one one screen to another screen and when we are removing something from our back stack it is considered as popping so because we are adding something when we click to the first screen button that means it perform it considered as navigation from one screen to another screen so in this situation this transition specification is used to perform this sliding animation now over here you can define your animation specification so i'm using here slide in horizontally mention the complete width and i want to club this thing with slide out horizontally and i'm using negative of my width let me just show you the code so this is our first screen it's a very simple first screen composable we have a column we have text we have button and when user click on it we simply transfer this click event to my parent composable so over here we have the button click event and when user click on it we simply adding the second screen destination or you can say route to my backit stack and this is considered as navigation basically we want to perform navigation from this screen to next screen so corresponding to the second screen route we have our second screen and in this second screen we have a column text spacer and button so when user click on this button what we did we simply uh, remove the last element of our back stack so it is considered as a pop okay so just execute our application this is our application and when i click to the button we simply navigate to the second screen but this time we are actually using this sliding animation which we had mentioned over here so this slide in horizontally this animation specification belongs to the incoming screen and this slide out horizontally is used for the current screen so when i click on it so we are currently standing on the first screen and when i click to this button we want to perform navigation so this screen will become my current screen so current screen uses slide out horizontally and the incoming screen uses slide in horizontally all right so we saw what will happen if we want to perform navigation now what will happen if i want to pop or you can say remove something from our back stack on this case we'll using pop transition specification and if you're talking about the animation so this time i'm using slide in vertically and i'm going to club this thing with slide out vertically okay so as you can see this is my second screen and when i click on it nothing happens now let me just re execute this application okay so application is executed when i click to this go to second screen this is my second screen and this time when i click on it see the animation changes because of this so this pop transition specification is used when you remove something from your back stack now lastly what will happen if user click back button on that case you can use predict to pop transition specification so predict to back gesture was introduced in android 13 and enhances in android 14 the sole purpose of predict to back gesture is to improve the experience of back gesture so when you actually drag onto your screen to perform the back button gesture it simply shows you what will happen if you complete this back gesture this is what predict to back gesture means so over here you can define your animation specification so what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply use this pop transition specification it's totally up to you if you want to use any different transition specification you can do it very easily it's not a big deal now simply execute your application second screen go to first screen okay this is fine so this is how you can actually use transition specification to perform animation during navigation during popping or during back click we did this thing for our navigation display right now what will happen if i want to perform this transition specification pop transition specification and predict to pop transition specification only for one entry it is possible 
you can simply use parameter of entry naming metadata and in this we have navigation display transition specification plus nav display pop transition specification plus nav display predictive pop transition specification so over here you can define and this is only applied in this second screen entry so this is how you can actually perform animation during navigation i hope you got the point how to perform navigation with transition animation we will meet in our next video where we will discuss something new about navigation 3 till that goodbye